Hello everyone and welcome to another Spectober video! This film and like three videos in one night. Um, today we are going to be turning Cat into a gun shot wound. <laughs> into a gun shot wound. I didn't even get to say my name last time. <gasps> oh yeah! Why? <laughs> 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 I'm going to take a few notes and she's like, God! And it was like, God! And like, God, the demon! God! I've lost my sock. Oh no, it's a travesty! <laughs> tragedy! And your sock gets lost and you can't get it on, it's tragedy! <laughs> this is why I'm a songwriter. When you lose your sock and it's not so hot, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in this video, I'm going to be giving Kat a gunshot wound and <laughs> a knife slash. She's wound. attacking me. Help! I'm being held captive. This is actually a kidnapping, guys. <laughs> What's that? But all you're gonna need is catch and roll. When she does plenty, I made that joke in the last video. When it's not people. Oh, Shannon's been learning self defence. <laughs> yeah, I have. And fake blood, you'll need fake blood. Um, and you'll also need cotton buds. And you'll also need any palette that has black or brown and red in it. Okay, so let's start. Oh, you also need liquid latex, that's like the vital part of this. Yeah. So let's get started. You just want to dunk your Q tip or cotton bud into the latex and we'll start with a gunshot wound. So we'll wait till cat ties back her fringe so that we don't glue it down to her face. And you're just going to start by drawing a circle of your choosing, depends on how big the bullet is really. And yeah. Because humans are not bulletproof. <laughs> Why did I feel the need to say that? Just in case you all thought you might be <laughs> bulletproof. Yeah no. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> so now you're just going to roll up some kitchen roll and we're going to stick it in a circular motion, no, in a circular round latex that we've just applied. My head's fully nonsense today. <laughs> <laughs> My head is, I'm just genuinely full of nonsense. So you just apply that to where you've put the circle on the latex and the good thing about kitchen roll is that it's bendy. <laughs> <laughs> what am I? I love just the, the look in her eyes of oh my god, help me, I can't stop. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Right. Ah. <laughs> I don't know why I said ah, it wasn't sore. But I like latex all over your pyjamas. Mm -hmm. That's a thing. I'm just going to get another one because that one was stuck to the kitchen roll. <laughs> Pretty solidified. And we're just going to apply a little more just so that we can build up one more layer, not too thick because then it starts to look fake but we want it to be a bit thicker than this otherwise then it just looks two dimensional <laughs> we want it to be three dimensional because when you get shot it makes a hole <laughs> you laugh at the word hole I'm so immature. Just in case she doesn't know, sausage is a euphemism for a cock. <laughs> not how the saying, like, split a pole, split a friendship. Mm -hmm. My cousin told me that when she was younger, it was split a pole, get your home. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got a little bit here, and I'm just going to start building up where it needs built up. I'm not going to do the full thing again, because as I said, that's when it starts to look a bit fake. And we want it to look realistic. I'm really aggressive. Aggressive? I'm really aggressive. Oh no. Oh it no. Was escaping. Oh no. Um, what I'm going to do is just start with the Morphe 350M Nature Glow Palette. And I'm going to take a dark brown shade just on a brush that I've lost. A brush? A, a brush. <laughs> And I'm just going to take a dark brown shade. You just, I'm not even going to show you the shade because just use any palette that you've got. Tell. Tell! <laughs> just use any palette that you've got. <laughs> Don't go out buying other palettes for Halloween. Don't recommend. So now Catrona has a big black, 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 
<laughs> a large gaping hole in the forehead. Yes. Oh, and now I'm going to add some red. <laughs> Again, for bruising techniques. That's how you get some texture going up in here. So my ears just like, hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> Hello guys. I am here to tell you. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually really funny for me. I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you. <laughs> so now we're going to get some big blue and we're just going to apply it to the kitchen roll that I have set here with two Q tips glued to it. And we're going to pour it onto it. I'm just going to use a Q tip to gather up the blood. Oh, and I'm not going to get it in your fringe, I'm going to move that back. I'll just. Yeah, there we go. And I'm just applying that everywhere that I've put on the eyeshadow so far. And this is where it starts to look really, really grim. But you needed that eyeshadow underneath to create some texture and different colours underneath the blood. So when you think the eyeshadow is pointless and you'll just jump straight in with the blood, it'll look crap, so don't do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm really aggressive on this. Video. Very assertive. Mm. Do you want to do that up with your fringe? Just hold it. It was getting tickled in the eyebrow. <laughs> it was freaking me out. That bit too. Yeah, perfect. Much obliged. <laughs> Look at me being posh. Posh. No sh. What? Gemma <laughs> just getting one of those hysterical words <laughs> here. <laughs> Nothing you say makes sense. All the time from me. Some tickled my nose. Listen to me. <laughs> What I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what am I today, by the way? I'm just taking another wee sheet because that other sheet's completely destroyed. And I'm just going to wrap little sections. We're not going to use a lot here. We're just, again, going to twist it up. But um, you don't have to make the sheets perfect. I do not recommend using others. You need to make it quite rough because then it like looks like kind of ripped in your skin as opposed to crap. <laughs> I'm so Excuse me using I the camera as a Does that matter? That's okay. Maybe they panic. Right. So I'm inclined to do the wound at this side but I'm going to do that side for camera purposes. So can I just get you to look to the wall? To the window! To the wall! It's <laughs> a song. Can you finish that out? <sighs> oh, it's cold, sorry. It's alright, no to plan it. Cold and tickly. So, I'm just creating some sort of <laughs> weird, like, it's not a rectangle, it's got <laughs> pointed edges. I don't think it's a real shape, but you can see what I'm doing. Who's Jim? Jim Chapman. <laughs> He's a good YouTuber. <clears throat> He's a wee soul. I just realised somebody mentioned him in the mm. I mentioned in your post. Yeah. Poor Jim. Fellow and phallophobic. A bit? <laughs> Fellow and phallophobic. Fear of belly buttons. Alright. Yeah. What we do is we just twist up little bits of kitchen roll and we're going to stick it to that gross shape. It looks sort of like a little sperm. A sperm? <laughs> yeah. Look at this, it's vagina shaped. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Yeah. Mm. Imagine being that your Halloween costume is you making your whole face a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. gasps> what if you made your Halloween costume like out of like paper mache and made a like, big vagina and like made yourself a baby coming out of the vagina? <laughs> I bet you folk have done that like. Oh, I, I want to look at boys. <laughs> Oh, I better look it up. Well, maybe giving I'm birth Halloween costume. Giving birth Halloween costume, yeah. That's the way to find it. Right. So now we've done that, there's a bit dangling up at cat's eye, so I'm just going to glue that down. <laughs> before it pokes her and kills her. Probably as well. Yeah. Let's not blind her. 
don't I don't recommend that you blind your friends or yourself. I would have to totally work tomorrow if I got blinded. Mm. That's very true. Do you want me to blind you? Mm. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Just pour all the liquid latex and your eye and it'll like glue all your eye senses shut. What? <laughs> eye senses? <laughs> That'd be sight. You just glue my sight shut. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Shannon Mockery. <laughs> I'm a really thick person sometimes. <laughs> but just sometimes, like, you'll never believe that I actually am quite smart. And <laughs> my own way. Mm. 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 <laughs> I have my moments where I'm like, <laughs> Einstein. <coughs> Do you? What have you discovered? <laughs> I've discovered the art of putting cheese in a bombay <laughs> diaper on your toe. I was going to say, it's your claim of flame. <laughs> <laughs> claim of flame, I all right? <laughs> I'm like hysterical oh, than I believe. I breathed in too much of that stink. Smells like fish. They were just building up that little sperm shape. I don't know what you think a sperm looks like. <laughs> no, but it's just, it's, it's got like a wee thinner tail end and it's, yeah. It's more of a tadpole now that I'm building it up. Remember when we got those sperm hearings? I was actually thinking that when I initially said it and I was going, do I say it? <laughs> <laughs> I decided against it, but <laughs> yeah, again, you went there. We went to a sex ed talk class thing. Yeah, it was. I don't know how old it would have been, like 13 or 14, something like that. Yep. And... They, did, they showed us all these pictures of like what like <laughs> infected still, genitalia looks like. Still traumatised. And Shannon freaked out and started crying and like left. <laughs> <laughs> like, but we got these we glow in the dark sperm key rings. Oh, I still yeah. have mine somewhere. I, I think I refused to take it. Yeah, you were, she was horrified. She I was, was like, absolutely not. Yeah. No way. Well, 13 year old Shannon was not having any of it. No. Whereas now I'd probably be sitting in the room like pushing for a bathroom. No. Why? And then you're like, nope, never have to deal with this. <laughs> never looking at this again. Whoa. I don't need to know what this looks like. Not going to happen. <laughs> Pretty sure until I was like 15 years old, I was like, I'm adopting and never having sex. That is accurate. Yeah. We'd have arguments. We had arguments yeah. across the street where she's like, I'm <laughs> never having sex. And I was just like, well, you're not gonna be saying that when you get a boyfriend, or and she's and I'm like you'll you'll get rid of you won't have a child. I'll just adopt. True story. Wow, yes. When did this turn into like a? I don't know. <laughs> sex can't, said Q and A. Like I can't even like edit it out because like it's included in this. <laughs> wow. Sex ed with Shannon and Kat. Yep, I did see these. That would be, hey. Impart our wisdom. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> I think. Don't make that on it, it's to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> because, let's face it. Who else gets good sex ed conversation? We love the expert here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing now? I'm just putting on some red. Same as I did with the gunshot one, just again to apply some real bruising. That's right. <laughs> 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 the realisation to was like... I was checking out my face for China. <laughs> So now we've done red and black eyeshadow on there, we're going to go ahead and put on the blood. Easy peasy. Just the exact same as what you did with the forehead. Just layer it all on, make it nice and thick and make it look congealed and yeah. So I should have made it thinner than that, like to make it more windy, but it just looks as if I've just ripped a bit of your skin off to be honest. But um, aye. 
then I could have dribbled blood down the face and stuff, but again, cat's working tomorrow, so I don't know. Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for another Spooktober video. <gasps> Bye! Bye.